Hey everyone, it's Nelson Gord here with today's NCSA recruiting tip of the day. Uh, today we're going to be talking about is it necessary to play club and travel sports uh, as a recruitable athlete? And this question is a tough one because it really comes down to what sport you play, what part of the country you live in, and really what your goals and aspirations are. Uh, when you look at sports like baseball, softball, volleyball, swimming, uh, over 90% of student athletes that play at the college level competed at the club on a club or a travel team during high school. Uh, other sports may not have a high school uh, team, you know, sports like gymnastics or lacrosse, depending on what high school you're at. Uh, so in those cases, you really don't have any other option but to play club or travel. Uh, in sports like football, you know, there aren't many club or travel options. There are seven on seven leagues and in various leagues and, and tournaments popping up throughout the country. Um, but that's really going to be a high school uh, strong or high school specific sport. Another thing to consider is when do colleges recruit athletes? Uh, going back to the baseball and softball example, many colleges are in their season while the high school season is going on. So it makes it really difficult to recruit during the high school season. So that's all the more reason to participate in a on a travel team throughout the summer months. Um, so when you're considering, you know, all different options, know that if it is available to you, it's always best to compete for both your high school and your club or travel team. Um, but if you have to pick and choose, you know, again, it really comes down to the sport and what you're looking to do. Uh, so as always, if you need help in the recruiting journey, feel free to reach out to us to look us up on our website, ncsasports.org, and we'd love to help.